I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Planet Ship. Review copy of this game is provided by the developer. Note that this game does have some weird patterns and flash things and standard epilepsy warning stuff. Uh, so go ahead and don't watch the video if you have such things. There is an option to turn down such weird effects, but uh, I'm just going to leave them all on so you get the full experience. Um, this is a weird, I guess, roguelike um, space explorer game. It's a lot like Redem de Rizzi, um and a lot different at the same time. Let's go ahead and start up a new game here. Um, there's different difficulties. Um, the high point of the game, in my opinion, is just chilling out and um, relaxing. I would kind of just recommend playing probably on chill out, but normal seems fine enough. So the story, which is not super important, is that you are a brain controlling a planet ship. And uh, basically you just want to find a habitable planet and launch a shuttle on it. And I guess that's the end of the game. I haven't actually beaten the game. Um, I just consider it nice to relax to. It's, um, it seems like Finding habitable planets takes quite a long time, or it's very random. So yeah, here is our... It seems more complicated from the screen than it really is. Basically, we have some resources that we need to keep high. We've got our health. Um, it's... you get used to it as you go on. Um, so we've got full six axis or six degrees of freedom or whatever you call that movement. What you want to do is you find these planets, you scan them with your planet scanny thingy, and that'll tell you if there's any resources or anything on them to mine. So like this planet has some food. We're maxed out on food. This one has water. Maxed out on water too. But we're just going to send out some shuttles just in case. They can also find, um, there's like a full periodic table of, uh, I think you can get pretty much any element that exists in this game. Um, only certain ones kind of matter. Um, you don't really need to worry about it too much. You just need to pick up, like here. Crap will drop elements and you should just pick them up. And once you get enough... Oops. Once you get enough of whatever, you can craft stuff in the craft menu. Oh, that's right here. So, like, we can build another shuttle. There's lots of, like... 70s era sci-fi humor and references like you got our make it so I guess that's later than 70s that's uh, um, next generation right but uh, there's lots of like let's get close to the star which is always a brilliant thing to do oh there's nothing in this one lots of times the stars will like oh there it goes why not stop um, they'll play like radio transmissions of, I think they're made up, but I'm not 100% certain on that, like radio drama style sci-fi stuff. And it just adds some nice stuff to the atmosphere. That planet has tentacles. I'm not entirely sure what tentacle plants do, like if they can knock down your shuttles or something. I tend to just avoid them. I mean, avoiding tentacles is generally recommended, you know, not just in this game, just in general. I love some of the, a big highlight for the game is some of the weird random stuff you come by like this neural network looking sort of thingy. And there was like a black hole in the last area we were at. See, so yeah, nothing too exciting in this, uh, I guess we can get some fuel. The goal, as was stated earlier, is to find a habitable planet. To do that, let's open up our star menu, our star chart. To do that, you want to find a warp gate, I guess, in one of these green balls here. It is no easy task. There's This one is very suspiciously close to this green one. So let's... Oh, wait. We haven't gone to it, so we can't... You can fast travel to stuff you've been to. Um, I'm used to being in a save file where I've traveled to almost everything. So we're looking for that yellow gate. Oop. Looking for a yellow gate in this star system. There it is. In all likelihood, we are not going to find a habitable planet. I'm just... Trigonometry. Um, I'm just screwing around. And 
I'm not, since I've never completed the game, I'm not entirely sure what happens when you find the Habitable Planet or how you know it is the Habitable Planet. Oops. Um, you see that energy level critical? You have regenerating energy to either shoot lasers or move quickly. Um, it doesn't really matter outside of combat too much. You just want to chill out on the accelerate button for a little bit once that empties. Oh, right, combat. We haven't seen any combat. The game... Combat's sort of weird and slightly unpleasant. You just don't want to get into too much combat if you can avoid it. Do you have something to say to me, Star? It's pretty cool and creepy when the stars do that, but uh, I haven't found one that does that yet in this game. And each solar system has different stuff. There's lots of different types of solar systems, like um, one's like Bizarro Zone, and uh, the colors and stuff are all super screwed up. Oh, here's a combat opportunity. It's covered in... The, these big ships are enemies, and they're covered in turrets and stuff. Um, it's fairly dangerous to engage them, and anything you blow up will drop random elements for, you know, crafting. So that's why you would want to fight, but uh, we kind of want to construct... Oops. No. We would want to construct some crap first to help us combat if we were going to do that, but we don't have any materials to gather stuff. You can also find... Like, there's these option ships that, like, they hover around your ship and, add, you know, they attack along with you. You can find them just floating around in space or, you know... Why is my ship doing this? Oop. I got sucked into a warp zone somehow. Oh, it's a bizarro zone. I'm not entirely sure how bizarro zones work. I guess maybe I'm not supposed to. But sometimes you just get sucked into a different zone. And it's a bizarro zone. And... Well, that's what we're seeing right now. I assume there's no habitable planets. We don't really need anything, but uh, let's just scan everything, just to be sure. Oops. For all I know, there's a tiny chance that habitable planets can spawn in non-habitable zones. I'm pretty sure there isn't, but I just like to be very sure. Also, I think these, like, maybe nebulas? Like, sometimes they can have extra... Um, elements and stuff if we like we have this automatic scanner thing that will spawn minerals if we get close enough to them I yeah, don't see any Oop. this guy's highly mobile so we'll, we'll want to kill him you've got a shield meter and a hole meter um, here we go yeah destroying enemy ships seems to give you a higher chance of dropping um, like we've got an extra shooty thing See, now we have Seeker Missiles, and blowing that guy dropped those. Some planets have their own defenses, and those seem to- I just leave those alone. They're- they don't seem to be worth it. Oh, the shuttles return to you in, like, real time, like, they don't just magically warp back to you. And it's sort of funny, they- they sort of try to go up to you, and they sort of miss a few times. It's sort of funny, the trajectory they try to take. You got stuff to say to me? No, you don't. Oops. I keep sending shuttles instead of scanning planets for some reason. What you got for me? Nothing. Um, hmm. Ah, there you two are. What you got for me? Nothing. It's not particularly worth actually dropping any um, a shuttle at anything with less than like a third of whatever resource you need, because they don't seem to actually gather like the teeny amounts. Like that one, it's half full, so it's, we're probably gonna get some fuel. We don't urgently need fuel, but whatever. So the main flow of the game is you just travel from place to place, and as you travel around, we unlock. Um, we can just fast travel to any system we've been to before. So, the first thing you want to do is just move around to everywhere, mark all the planets, and then you can see what type of planets they are on the right there. So, like, if we really needed food, we could fast travel to the system and scan that, or land a tra- um, can't talk. 
land a shuttle on that mega planet that has food. This one has a research opportunity. Sometimes there's just random events that can have a bunch of different outcomes. Like, a bunch of your people could die. Oh, there's a population in the bottom left there. It usually isn't a huge deal unless you, like, start starving them to death. But that's why we need food and water. But you can have different random events that, like, give us new research or kill our dudes or a bunch of other possible stuff. And this game was in early access for what seems to have been a really long time. I It's out of early access now, that's when I got my review copy. Um, I'm not really familiar with the development of it, I hadn't heard of it until I got an email about it. But it is very cool, weird, trippy space adventure, so that'd be fun to show off. The zone unknown, like there's different types of zones, like I showed you the bizarro zone before. Uh, there's also a hostile zone or hazardous zones that have tons of hostile crap and they tend to have a really cool like Death Star thing in the middle of them with a bunch of armaments on it. What's What is that? Just a ham radio in space. Okay. Something keeps locking my position on Yeah, that's one of those uh, radio transmissions I was talking about earlier. My ship is controlling weird. Alright, we're back to normal. Also, you can find books, which, um, every five books gives you new research at the beginning. Ooh. And, uh, I haven't actually read them. It just seems like a bunch of ridiculous crap mocking, like, early sci-fi stuff. So you can read those if you want. Um, you just find giant books floating in space, that's how you unlock those. I've only found three. I'm not sure how many there are total. Go in the warp! Um, yeah, we haven't seen Hazardous Zone. I kind of want to see Hazardous Zone. There's a good variety of different visual planets, visually speaking. Um, I do wish there were more weird monuments, like this um, Bucky Cubes thing here. Because they're really neat to look at, and you end up seeing a fair number of the same things, unfortunately. Ooh, can we go inside? This is probably a terrible idea. Oop. Energy. Energy level critical, like, it doesn't really mean much of anything. Like... Hmm. I, I guess it's just here to be pretty. There doesn't seem to be anything. Oh! Pardon me! Yeah, we don't want to fight that guy. Your main lasers kind of suck, so uh, you want to stay out of combat. I think I said that before. Pretty little black hole. I hear clanking, my cat is knocking things off my desk with his tail. It's kind of neat, the, um, the user interface sort of fades out when your energy levels are critical. Um, seems to just be completely... Um, a visual effect like your shields and stuff are still there but uh, you can't shoot and you're you can't do the boost whoop you can't take damage by bumping into planets doesn't happen too often but it's easy to not see them coming when it does happen because you know six degrees of freedom and all that crap so we do need some water it's good to just stock up as you go along because it's Easy to not think about things until they're important, and then all of a sudden you can't find water or something, and that sucks. Planets. Research opportunity. We keep finding research opportunities, but there's nothing very interesting in any of them. I, I'm not honestly even entirely sure what research opportunity means in this game like because I don't always get um, like sometimes you'll get a random transmission and I'm kind of hoping we do get one but um, is that a friend? seems friendly um, I'm not sure if those are more common research opportunity things we're wasting our secret missile dude but um,
I don't know. You can definitely end up in a research opportunity planet or solar system that doesn't have them. So uh, I don't know. And asteroids pretty much, well, usually have some form of element in them. So you can just blow up a big asteroid field to get a bunch of uh, crap if you want. So. I love some of the, uh, this gives minus death rate plus ridiculousness. I unfortunately can't make much of anything aside from shuttles. Nickel and the... Parker, don't bump the mouse. Uh, nickel and iron are very common, so uh, you'll get to make shuttles fairly often. Not 100% sure what destroys your shuttles. Sometimes they just seem to disappear. And sometimes I just find, like, here we go. Like, I think that scanning thing, yeah. That scanning animation means there's elements somewhere, so... When you find nebulas, there's supposed to be a bunch of elements hidden around, so you can just look around for scanning. There's also upgrades that help you scan better. I guess we harvested that nebula. Did we make anything? Galactic slide. One use device for a gate holes, better space time. You know what? That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Oops. So now we are in a completely new galaxy with no connection to the last one. Um, we did this for no reason other than to show you that that is a thing that you can do, and that's fine. Honestly, as long as you pay reasonable attention. Oh, here we go. Hazard waits for portals to open. What to do? I don't know. Wait. Um, let's send another shuttle. And we lost a shuttle. I figured. I should think that the computer is Bollocks! I guess events happen from landing on planets. That makes sense, right? I guess I should be firing off the more things. The is sustained by an anti-gravitation force of unknown origin. See, this one's louder. In 500,000 feet. If it's against every physical law, how can there be a planet... Space butterflies! Okay, those are bad. They're annoying and they try to hurt you. Now we've pretty much seen the core gameplay of this one. I had hoped to show you a hostile zone. Oh, what is that? That looks researchy. Or no, that's gas. Give gas. Thank you. Give him some of that. Some of that. Can I make anything cool? No. Um, let's hop a few more solar systems and see if we can't find us a hazardous zone to blow up in. Oh, also, if you die, um, you tra you you start a new game in a new dimension, basically. But you keep a bunch of your crap. You keep your you keep a certain amount of your um, uh, elements and stuff. So this is why I recommend just playing on the chillax mode or whatever they called it. Just take in all the weird, freaky sights. Enjoy and relax at your own pace. It's fairly difficult to die as long as you, you know, pay attention and don't pick fights. And there's not many great reasons to pick fights. Like, it does give you resources and crap. But there's other ways to get stuff. Like, mining these asteroids here. Very low risk. I think that is an enemy. Are you an enemy? All right, there's different factions. I, oh yeah, the red one is the bad one, of course. Just collect random elements. I'm not sure if every element has a use. I kind of doubt it, considering it's got the whole frickin' periodic table. But I just pick up the crap. Like, certain things are very common, like oxygen. Um, 
The important stuff seems reasonably common. Oh, here we go! Hazardous! So we've got lots of enemy ships, we've got lots of defenses on planets. Let's just land a crew on that planet. stuff going on. So yeah, this is... I'm pretty sure there's one of these in every... Uh oh Let's let our batteries recharge before we try an attack run. There's really no point in going an attack run with as bad of a ship, like as simple as a ship we have, but why not? So blowing up the cannons will give you more resources. You don't want to run out of energy while you're getting bombarded, because then you can't flee very well. Yeah, this is the main attraction, or anti-attraction, to the, uh, come back crew, to the hazardous zones. is lots of enemies and giant Death Star thingy. I don't know why it readjusts. Oh, it's adjusting to the planet. That's why. I'm really not sure why it bothers to try and orient you to the planet. Uh, what is hitting me? Excuse you. Okay, we should probably get the hell out of the hazardous zone. But yeah, this is pretty much planet ship. Uh, we did not find the end, but hey, oh, incoming message. From the species. Since there's no such thing as a prime directive, let's leave a bunch of science junk with them. Ah. Jerks. Whatever. There's also these things where an alien transmission can come in, and you have to play a tiny little mini game where you like decode their signal. It's very easy. Another hazardous zone, and um, they can offer to trade you crew members or various crap. I usually don't have enough resources, honestly, to go to those. Uh, being low on resources is a very common situation like they can take a lot of screwing around to actually find enough stuff to do anything of note oh here we go so what you want to do is get that get the message louder and get that green bar to fill up ah see this is fairly common i don't have seaborgium yidrium i don't have any of this crap so i can't actually uh buy anything from them. As we continue building the International Space Station. But it's not like you urgently need to do that stuff either. Oh, speaking of urgently, we do need some water pretty soon. Oh, I should show you the space travel, or the, not space travel. Let's see if we can find some place with water. Since we are kind of dying. Well, whatever. Let's just travel to this place for no particular reason. That will travel put us through the warp zone. In the warp zone, you just have to avoid these gears. It's this weird, freaky thing. I spawned outside of this my first time, and I was super confused. And I just traveled through space forever. I think that might have been fixed. Because like, I've warped like six times today with no issue. And uh, the game did have a patch after releasing... That might have fixed that, I'm not sure. I'm kind of surprised the little shuttles don't kill themselves while they're, while they're in there. I thought that would be a very bad... Like, I thought it would kill them, but it seems to not. Hmm. Well, this is Planet Ship, and hopefully I don't die horribly because of lack of water. But it seems like a possibility right now. I just wanted to show off this monstrosity. Also, there was a... Nah, I guess you can't really hear it. There was a transmission about uh, SpaceX coming from this star, so... There might be some real transmissions, possibly all of them, possibly just some. But I thought that was just interesting enough to note. And I like this horrific television thing that's chasing us.